level off. And to me, it's like all about him making efficient plays, making efficient ganks if they're going three men in. Mask in some trouble now. JoJo just baiting him in, forcing him to stick around a little bit too long. The lockdown into the dredge line, and it's first blood over to Blabber. And you know what else is signature about this game thus far is the fact that C9 have had such a good, strong idea of where they get back out of danger. And meanwhile, Immortal's trying to make that play in the bottom lane. Okay, and you've done nothing but farm. It is really tough. You want to make those plays happen, but Castle getting low. They're going to summon oh, the Heralds man. here in Castle. I don't think he's got any way out. And again, Inferno Bomb to try to clear the wave away, but it won't even matter, man. Blabber's going to end up taking the kill thanks to the Leandry's burn. The Herald rub. And there they finally catch somebody out. They finally get someone when he's not next to a turret. Oh, it's the guy with Clint. Yeah. If you want to try to do anything about this third Drake, taking a fight in open ground when you're down 5k at 20 minutes is very difficult, but the alternative is just sit there and do nothing. Armeo fires off the Maokai ulti and hits a field goal with it. Right through the uprights, nobody's going to get locked down. Now Jojo goes in. Bartle to try to keep Armeo alive for an extra second, but the Dawning Shadow says no. Jojo ends up getting the kill credit with the mini death mark there on the Soul Unbound as Ole has to go on a magical journey back through the wall, back over to the turret. The dragon, the fight, the game belongs to Cloud9. Yeah, it's just not even close. I mean, I think it's not going to get any He's 20 feet away from everybody else, and then they also hit him with the Bard ulti, but nothing happens. It seems very disjointed from Immortals. It's now Ole down to about one quarter HP. Vulcan going to be taken low now, too. But the problem is IMT has no damage. And Thanatos picks up kill number four for the side of C9. Ole steps out of the way of the Dawning Shadow, and very importantly so, if that's Cinna Ole. Yeah. It's like, I'm not going to curse it, but... It's about as close as you can get. They but basically didn't even hit a Cloud9 tower. Like They got no plates, they got no objectives. Vulcan in some <laughs> trouble, but just going to be able to walk it out. Yeah, dude, he just Spider-Man's away from now, and JoJo going to reset his position as once again that Maokai ulti not getting the lockdown that it needs. JoJo, fate sealed back over the wall, and he drags Armeo with him. Now Castle comes over, trying to secure this kill. Nice little bit of a barred ulti here, locks C9 down. The first kill comes through for Immortals, and they finally got somebody. JoJo going to take down Armeo is now another kill, pours through. C9 might have lost their jungler, but they're still looking to keep the fight going. Castle wants to get away, and Thanatos puts a boomerang in his back. Immortals tried to fight. It was the best fight they got all game. <laughs> all right, Immortals, let's see what you can do. Can we banter for the dragon? Immortals need to try to stop this one. It's already three drakes over to the side of C9. Mask tries to get away there from the depth charge. He does manage to disengage far enough away that there is no follow-up, but C9's doing a great job just zoning these guys out. Armeo can't get anywhere close because Berserker just keeps him forced out. Now Armeo and Castle are both about to die to the Requiem. It ain't even gonna matter. It's a two-for-one trade here with the very start, and they're about to make it three. Ole goes on a magical journey, but it's a journey straight to the respawn platform. Ole Running, 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 trying to get away. It's just Nar. Oh, never mind. Uh, he's gone. Yeah. It's going to be a bear right off the back of it. Call it a triple. Again, like I cannot reiterate how awesome it is to see nine pilot a composition like this. Nothing because it... that Immortals ever found for an answer. Now C9 with the Baron, with the Dragon Soul. It's not even 20 on his head. Can Tactical and Mask clear the waves and try to poke these guys? But Requiem's coming yeah. in, and there's some of that big burst. Immediately, Thanatos goes oh. on the Rampage. The Senna Karthus Wombo combo is way more than Tactical Ziggs could deal with. C9 with a five-man march down the mid, down the bot lane, excuse me, as Castle's still all the way up in top. He's got to try to recall. JoJo going in, looking to take out Mask here now to Blabber, keeping our Mayo zoned away. The Maokai cannot contribute in any meaningful way to this fight as the first Nexus turret is already down, second Nexus turret in their sights. JoJo just jumping forward. It's, it's just a formality for C9 at this point. Another Nautilus ulti, keeping Mask locked away. They're gonna kill Armeo, they're gonna kill Castle. Mask still trying to stand and fight, but it ain't gonna matter. C9 pad the stats a little bit and make game one look free. Yeah, that was not close whatsoever. Ooh. And you know... Another scuttle. Have to be always a little bit careful about Cassante under those towers, though, as you are pushing yep. up. Do not want to give him how, the opportunity. How has it felt for you, you know, coming into summer here and now? Uh -oh. Play a champion that's OP. Well, I think Mask is about to not feel really great coming into summer on this one as Blabber and JoJo find the first blood. There it is again onto Mask. Both games in the. Warmog's item, but 
the support item is obviously very, very strong. Mask again in trouble. Oh man, Vulcan read him like a book once again. The dredge line to follow it up, and Blabber gets involved just to make sure. By the dredge line, he gets knocked up by the death charge. Then there's the ulti from Sejuani as well, and they're gonna use that mid lane prio try to come over here, but Immortals want to fight. Yeah, Immortals are going in for it. They fire off the Maokai ulti, but they only get Vulcan with it. But now Thanatos and Blabber are also ready to join in. Dawning Shadow over the top. Goodbye, Armeo. Renekton is chopping down the trees. And now we got to see if Cassante can get anything back as they try to have Castle get involved, but it ain't going to be enough. He's down to 100 HP, and Thanatos still has that Dominus ready to go. Castle jumps back over the wall, but the flash into the Ruthless Predator comes out from Thanatos. He went too far, and Tactical takes him out with a lightning crash as Jojo may also so now be overextended. Cloud9 getting a little goofy with it as Blabber's about to drop here too. IMT! A double kill of the man! He's always a huge element for that. Also, Mask getting two of those kills for Immortals is huge. This is the yeah. guy who C9 put so many resources into setting behind, and now he's back in the game. Exactly. He's actually up a tiny bit of gold. Like, who cares about the gold lead? But they're going to see if they can find a dive on a Thanatos. Yeah, Thanatos down to 40%. Staying alive for now. Dominus doing a good job keeping him there. He's still just trying to get a little bit more burst back. Back on these guys, Thanatos makes it a two for one. Immortals, what in the hell was that die? Yeah, they weren't able to pull it off. Didn't have the damage to do it. And Castle on the other side might get taken down. Yeah, Castle trying to survive his own 1v3. Gets away for now. C9 trying to make sure they don't get juggled around by the third hit of the Intofo strikes. And JoJo's taking the kill. C9 get their dive cleanly. He's pretty tanky. You can't kill him quick. Well, at least for Immortals, there is a little bit of light shining in the darkness here. Got themselves the Rift Herald this time around. As the engage from Vulcan underneath the turret locks up Ole, who has to flash out to survive. Still got about 350 HP left as Castle goes all out, and Vulcan gets taken down. It's tactical response on his shoulders right now. We'll see what he can do as Mass could be in danger. Vulcan immediately singling him out here with the depth charge. The flash from the Jace gets him away, but now Ole's here on the front line continuing the fight. Jojo providing the majority of the damage here for C9. Nice Sharima shuffle with the Dawning Shadow coming in to guarantee the kill onto the enemy mid laner as Armeo dies next. And Ole's gonna be joining him down to 100 HP and he finally falls. Jojo at least gonna be traded as Tactical swoops in and goes for the lightning crash. He finds a killing spree taking out Thanatos and now it's him and Castle looking at a 2v3 the rest of C9. Blabber gets away. Back. So Castle's able to come in and get that quick kill. Then as Zeri arrives, he just flashes in with the R tries to get the kill, is able to do so, couldn't chase down for more, and JoJo will be able to get out of the reach of this. So he's gonna survive, but they do get the top lane tier one. Come on, bro! Well, new Skarner's only been out for a couple of months, right? I got a decade on the previous Skarner. Okay, previous okay, Skarner okay. didn't have his license. That's true. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> previous Skarner, it's kind of hard to drive when you got big old claws. Yeah. 10 and 2 don't really work. <laughs> well, let's see if Immortals can make this bottom lane push work as they are going in for that tier one. Should just be able to knock it down. No contest. Immortals? And he, he's got two items now. Those are both completed, so he's in a real really good spot. And yeah, I mean, compared to game one, this is way more competitive. Um, it's one of those situations where Cloud9 now are just gonna try to push up here. Castle is coming over, but the tower's gone. Yeah, but now Ole is gonna get locked up. The Sun Disk has been summoned. The turret now belongs to C9, and JoJo's too far forward. Castle goes in, and Mask is gonna grab the kill. IMT get the first kill of the fight, and Castle is still fighting. He'll be traded back. It's a one for one. Immortals there. So just gonna back up here a little bit until that's ready to go again, but keep your eyes on Vulcan. Still plenty of engage potential here on the Nautilus as well. As Jojo jumps back up the wall here, trying to disengage. Ole leading the charge. Jojo gonna be killed at the very start. Mask taking him out. As Armeo's down to 300 HP and he's gotta stay on the back end of the fight as Ole's here in the front, hanking it up, but he is gonna die. One for one trade so far. Nice dredge line coming out from Vulcan. Tacticals locked up. Tacticals beat down. C9 might have got caught a little bit at the start, but they end up walking away with the dub. It's a three for one. And Trying to look for these fights. Yeah, I like the fact that they wanted to go in and say, hey, let's see if we can pick up JoJo here. The fight starts off good for that. But man, oh man, Baron now trying to say that that's, that's just on Castle or anything like that. You know, Tactical did make a mistake, but you got to be playing frontline for him. Castle now also being forced out of the Immortals jungle. C9 with total control over the Rift, and they are just going to start picking up so much extra gold right here. Back into those defensive lines, because C9 is forcing their way into the Immortals base. Tier 3 turret is down. Inhibitor, the target. Doesn't look like IMT is going to be able to stop it here. Yeah, Ole still has his Warmogs, but it didn't heal him up fast enough. Now he's finally coming back out of the base, finally looking to try to stop these guys. Yeah. That's... The range is uh, pretty problematic at this point, for sure. Pretty balanced. Yeah. Making the call. Castle already down to half HP. Berserker doing a good job here with the poke. The meatballs protecting the president. Berserker popping the cleanse, getting himself back away from that solar flare. Ole here on the front line, trying to flash out now too, but he's being hunted down. He's being shot to pieces, and it's JoJo pulling the trigger. 
as Armeo tries to escape off to the side, but they're locking down everybody on IMT. Tactical goes for the lightning crash, but Castle's about to die here anyway. Tactical drops to JoJo. Cloud9's gonna clean them all up. Everybody on Immortal's side ain't going nowhere except the morgue, baby. Thanatos teleporting into the enemy base. It's a five for nothing, a clean ace to end the game and end this series. Vulcan survives, JoJo survives, Cloud9 are gonna take it. A much cleaner, a much better game two for Immortals, but still not enough. JoJo gonna go up to 100 career wins now. C9 are not gonna repeat their spring results against Immortals here in summer. They are gonna smack them 2-0. Ole coming back to life. Thanatos is gonna die to the fountain laser. And at this point, that's the only way Immortals are getting kills. 19 to 10. C9 takes the series 2-0. Nicely done by Cloud9. The second game, a lot more competitive. It got a little bit loose with it in the mid game.